A deadly crash tonight, a pickup truck colliding with the commuter rail train in Abington, killing the elderly driver of the pickup. The train did have passengers on board at the time of this crash. But it does not appear that anyone on board was injured. We want to get right to Julie McDonald, who is live in Abington tonight. Julie? Well, Lisa and David, just minutes ago, the medical examiner's office pulled away from the scene of this deadly crash. Now, detectives from the transit police and also Plymouth County District Attorney's Office detectives will be continuing their investigation, piecing together the minutes before this happened. Now, neighbors tell WBZ it was just about 8.20 tonight when they heard the typical sounds of an oncoming train and then a crash so loud it seemed to shake their homes. People came running outside. They saw the pickup truck here crushed and twisted to the point it was difficult to even make out the model of that vehicle. Transit police confirmed the driver of that truck, a man believed to be about 78 years old, did not survive. We know that the inbound commuter rail train was carrying 10 passengers, all of whom are okay. Some of the people who live and work in this neighborhood, North uh, Street, described first seeing and hearing this horrific crash. We heard, it was like smash. Uh, I jumped up, looked out the window, saw smoke, ran out, smelled it. You could smell the rubber or something. It was, it was a mechanical smell, you know? We went down and it's bad. I've never seen a car get peeled apart so bad and make it look like two cars. Now, longtime neighbors in this area of North Ave tell me that there is sufficient warning here as a train is coming. Minutes that you're sitting with those descending arms already down and the loud bell. It's worth noting that when my photographer arrived here to the scene, that warning bell was still loudly ringing tonight. Stay with WBZ as we continue to learn more about what happened here in Abington. Back to you.